In this video, we are going to prove that for any natural number a, b, and c, the three numbers a squared plus b plus c, b squared plus a plus c, and c squared plus a plus b cannot be perfect squares at the same time. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. We are asked to prove that these three numbers cannot be perfect squares at the same time. It is actually more convenient to think about what will happen when these three numbers are all perfect squares. That means we are thinking from the opposite direction. So let's assume that, which means we're trying to do a proof by contradiction. So the next step is to take note that a, b, and c are both are all natural numbers. So that means these numbers b plus c, a plus c, a plus b, are all positive in particular. So these numbers should be greater than a squared, b squared, and c squared, respectively. Now, under our assumption, these numbers are all perfect squares, and they are greater than a squared, b squared, and c squared. So that means it must be at least at least, so I'm changing the signs, not a square now, but the next perfect square. Which is a plus one whole squared, b plus one whole squared, and c plus one whole squared. So we've established three inequalities, and let's take a closer look at one of them. We have a squared plus b plus c to be greater than or equal to a plus 1 whole squared. Expand the right hand side and we have the same expression to be greater than or equal to a squared plus 2a plus 1. Remove the a squared on both sides and we have an inequality b plus c is greater than or equal to 2a plus 1. Now using a similar argument on the other two inequalities, we will have a plus c is greater than or equal to 2b plus 1 and a plus b to be also greater than or equal to 2c plus 1. And we expect these three inequalities to hold all at the same time. But we have a problem is that if these three inequalities have to hold at the same time, then that means if I add those expressions up, as in I add all expressions on the left hand side together, and then I will get 2a plus 2b plus 2c, and this will surely be greater than or equal to the sum of the right hand side, which is 2a plus 2b plus 2c plus the three ones, which is three. But this inequality is obviously impossible because the right hand side is clearly larger than the left hand side by three. So now we have a contradiction. We have to recall that this contradiction actually arises because we have made a wrong assumption. And our wrong assumption is that we have assumed that a squared plus b plus c b squared plus a plus c and c squared plus a plus b are all perfect squares at the same time. So that means we must have the opposite statement, which is that they cannot be perfect squares at the same time. So we have proved the required statement.